waking you up with the basins number one for hip hop and more. B93. Trending now. Yeah, Billy is going down to the wood. Holly, Hollywood, what's trending on this Friday? Friday, Friday. Friday. Trending now. Well, how about uh, yesterday, the Roadhouse reboot dropped on Prime Video. Prime time. I want to check it out. Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal. And up until yesterday, Leo, you told me Conor McGregor is in this movie. Yeah, I think he plays the, the bad guy. Yeah, I was like, no way. Well, uh, he talks about his Roadhouse fights with Jake. And he says acting only played a p- small part in the scenes. He says... The fight scenes were very much real. Uh oh! Wow, pretty crazy. Of course, he's an MMA fighter. Yeah, and uh, there he is, like you said, playing the bad guy. And so they say, yeah, of course, this is a reimagining of the beloved 1989 action flick with Patrick Swayze. Love that movie. Of course, it has Patrick Swayze, and it's got uh, the one, the only um, uh, Sam Elliott. Oh, yes. Nice. Well, Conor McGregor, this is his first ever acting role, by the way. Uh, But he says throughout the movie, he and Gyllenhaal's characters end up in various fights. And although they both had stunt doubles, he says not all of it was acting. He says it wasn't fake fighting. Uh, As a man who fights for a living, it was very, very real, very much real. There were real shots landed. He said, I'd get one on him. He'd get me back. And uh, he says, yeah, but it's all good. And don't, uh, you know kind of downplayed Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, he got in some big shots. <laughs> well, I mean, this is your chance to beat up on Conor McGregor. Thank you. I mean, okay, sure. If I can land a couple, I mean, why not? Well, and mind you, when asked, so what's what does this mean for you in the future? Are you going to take some more acting gigs or what's going on? He said, absolutely. I've got some things now in the works. Uh, okay. Hey, he's an actor now. Yeah, I mean, this may take it there. Yeah, totally. Uh, it's out today. Love it. Trending now. How about the teaser is out for the Beetlejuice sequel? Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Watch out. Wow. The juice is loose. (laughs) The juice. Love him. Is Uh, loose. My gosh. Michael Keaton is back to reprise his role, isn't he? Yeah. And it's called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Hits theater September the 6th. And uh, they say, uh, get wait. ready for it. Yeah, they well, say. and, you know, Catherine O'Hara is back. Yep. And she played the mom that lived in that, you know, haunted house, whatever. And then um, and Winona Ryder is back as Lydia Dietz, yes. right? Yes. But also, and I love this little actress, little... Uh, not Selena Gomez, little Jenna other. Jenna Ortega. Ortega. She actually, in that teaser, takes off the table up in the attic to uh, pretty much kind of reveal... Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm telling you right now, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's definitely a cult classic. And the fact that they're finally, all these years later, Bring giving out, us, what, yeah. a sequel? Yep, sequel. Uh, super excited. Love it. Trending now. Well, Michael Jackson's mom, Katherine Jackson, and his son, Blanket, who, if I'm not mistaken, goes by BG now. BG. Are having what appears to be a little bit of a legal spat. It's a minor thing. Uh, but one thing that we've learned... Uh, is that Mom Catherine has received about $55 million from Michael's estate since his passing. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, so they say, yeah, it's kind of crazy because I guess little BG's like, hold up, $55 million? Where's my guy? <laughs> How much is he getting? Yeah, seriously. So um, there's been some paperwork filed, and the estate claims that a massive amount of cash and other benefits Catherine has received since Michael's death in 2009 um, has totaled more than $55 million, And a good chunk of that dough, they say, uh, comes in the form of a monthly allowance that says Catherine gets. Yeah. So she gets a, a monthly allowance of about $160,000 a month. Good for her. Plus other cash payments. Um, but yeah, $55 million. So my thing is, does this mean... Well, and the thing is, I think what BG is saying is, okay, absolutely my grandmother deserves a big chunk of change because, you know, she's Michael's mama. But... Does she really need things like a private gardener, a chef, <laughs> private security? Does she really need all that? When you're uh. the king of pop's mom and you birthed him, 
Yes, you do. Wow. Well, Little Blanket is fighting Grandma. Like I said, it's not anything major. Like, it's not causing What's he a real fighting big... her for? Because I'm sure he got his money. Well, and the thing is, too, is you've j- you just have to wonder, is this, because they don't really specifically lay it out. They just say that uh, paperwork has been filed. But does Blanket not get as much? And oh. he thinks he deserves it as one of Michael Jackson's I'm sure. children? Are you kidding me? Uh, I don't, of course you know, he should get more money than Mama. Mama's different. been taken care of through the years. Yeah, I, I think he gets, gets his fair share. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I just all wonder the kids how get it's money. divided up. Yeah, you all, know, all the kids get money. And the four. You know, sometimes I think of. Leo and Rebecca in the morning, B93. Yeah, all right, uh, we love hacks, yeah? Yes, we do love our hacks. All right, latest one, a TikToker posted a hack for getting free snacks. Hey. Oh. A hack for snacks. Good. This is the hack I want to know about. Now my ears are wide. Here we go. Uh, Free snacks at hotels. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm telling you right now, we stayed at one recently and had to pay for them. Right, right. So I need this hack. Well, let's see what's going on. Let's let's see what's happening here. Cause Every time I'm traveling, my mom calls the hotel to do something special for me, even if it's not a special occasion. I'm in Vancouver right now, traveling for work, and my mom called the hotel and had them put together a little gift basket. Just checked into my hotel, and not only did I get free snacks, but they also wrote me a little card. You or your mom isn't calling the hotel every single time you travel. You're doing something wrong. Oh! <laughs> Wow, is that all it takes? Wow. Good grief. So basically she's saying have your mom or dad call before you check in. Tell them to say they want to do something small to make your stay a little more special. And there's a good chance the hotel will leave snacks or something else in your room for free, by the way. Wow. Um, And usually if you just say, can you just do a little something? Usually they'll be like, sure. And then even if your mom or dad were like, well, how much? They're like, "Eh, don't worry about it. And boom, you've got yourself... Some free snacks. I love that. Yes! Mind you, but you know me, always a skeptical, always got to put a damper in things. <laughs> Debbie Downer. I'm like, yeah, that's cute and all fun and games until I, you know, check out the hotel receipt and I'm like, hold up. Yes. What's this extra 25 bucks here? You though? know what? Uh, I got we're, charged. we're the ones that will call and pretend we're the little rascals and we're robbing the bank. Hey, do I have to pay for <laughs> <laughs> we'll call. I mean, I'll be like, "Hey, I'm a, I'm Leo's dad, and I want something special for his room. Could you put a little something together for him?" Sure, we'll make we'll make that happen, sir. Thank you. And you're right. I'll get the bill on the way out for an extra sixty bucks. Thank you. All home alone. And I'm like, oh, in the dang hotel, it. Yeah. charging room service. But no, I. You're right. I don't know that I 100% believe this. No, I don't either. Someone's getting charged somewhere. Yeah, and I kind of feel like maybe mom or dad did pay for it somehow, some way. Yeah, and this chick is yeah. getting on. And yeah, her mom's like, hey, we got you free snacks, honey. <laughs> and this chick is telling everyone about the hack. Mom will get on later, do a TikTok, yeah, and be like, no. we've been paying for them. This shouts extra her. charges on the bill. <laughs> I'm sorry. And this shouts, it's giving yes. extra. <laughs> it's giving extra money here. No. Thank you. No. Wake up the kids. Hi. Take a shower, grab some Starbucks, half calf vintage, and put on Leo and Rebecca in the morning. Oh yeah, here we go. That's four three two. Wake up right there. B ninety three. All right, got a man, and there are just some people you shouldn't talk to before they have their first cup of coffee. That's next on your world's famous Got a Men's Call. Yes. The four three two's morning show. Leo and Rebecca in the morning. morning, morning. Only on B93. 433. This loca. <laughs> Don't give a damn. That's right. Time for Carmen Calls with Leo and Rebecca in the morning. B93. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, Carmen today. Um, She's got your coffee ready, but don't complain about it. Oh, no. Hang on. Carmen and my coffee. Don't touch it. Hang on. Hello? Hello, my name is Scottman, and I'm calling with Gra- Oh, Can I please speak to Michelle? Uh, this is Michelle, but what did you say your name is? My name is Scottman, and I'm the assistant to the assistant to the assistant manager oh, of Gra- oh. Troll, the coffee shop that you recently made a complaint about. I wanted to follow up with you. Okay, I don't know that I complained, but yes. There's a comment card, ma'am, um, that you oh. said that there yeah. was some sort of issue with your experience with one of our employees. Yeah, I mean, I guess in general, it's... I, I don't mean to complain. I'm not really a complainer, but 
you know, when you go get a cup of coffee and someone says, how are you? I wish when I say great, it, that would satisfy the exchange. All right. So you don't want to be talked to when you walk into the store and greeted? I mean, preferably. Are you not used to having people caring about your day? Caring? I'm but if you don't want that, I totally understand. And I will speak to her. And I will let her know that there are people in this world that don't want to be talked to. That weren't I mean, hugged when they were kids and are just walking through oh, life okay. like the coffee, extremely bitter. Ah. Hello? Hello? Hola, this is Carmen. I believe we were disconnected. Uh, yeah, I yeah, guess. I'm the assistant to the so assistant manager here at Control. And you don't really let people finish sentences, but okay. I've spoken to our employees and good news. I fired the one that was a little too chatty what? with you. And I've instructed all the rest of them that when you walk in, just to ignore you, not look at you in the eye and just give you your coffee and keep okay. their head down until you leave the store. Okay, this is a little extreme. Like, what kind of business model is this? I don't, I, this is very... Ma'am, you're the one, you're the customer and the customer's always right. We're here to serve you. And so that's why we're going to make sure that we don't talk to you. We don't even look at your face. Okay, you obviously are not understanding what the f I'm talking about. Excuse like, me. Maybe I should just pick a different what? place to go. Have you ever taken management courses? You know, for someone that doesn't like to talk, you sure do like to talk a lot. Have you ever been trained as a manager? What? Not customer service. <laughs> Stupid. Time to give a shout out. Leo and Rebecca. With the birthday holla on the basin's number one for hip hop, B93. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yeah. It's my birthday. All right, time for the B93 birthday. Holla. Holla on a Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Who's got a big old birthday on this Friday, March 22nd? Tell you right now, we got a couple of uh, several celebrity, local celebrity birthdays. Aubrey Marquez, Aubrey Marquez is having a birthday today. Big birthday shout to you from the Arredondo family. We love you. Have a happy birthday. Uh, who else here? Um, oh, okay. Another one for Aubrey. She's 11 from Tia Ashley, Domani, and kids. We love you, girl. Uh, who else having a big birthday here today? Uh, Brianna Carrasco, 15 years old today. Happy birthday to you, Brianna. Mom and dad, your sisters and brothers. Uh, we love you. Happy 15th birthday. It's her Kinses. Nice. Uh, may the Lord grant you many, many more. And another shout here for Aubrey Marquez from Mom, Dad, and Sisters, who love you very much. Uh, who else here having a big birthday? Good. I, not, I think this is for yesterday. I don't know. I got right. it in a Way later in the morning. Okay. I uh, want to wish my baby Addison Raquel a very happy 12th birthday. May all your wishes come true. Love your familia. And like I said, Addison, I believe, had a birthday yesterday. Awesome. A little bit of a belated. It's all good. Uh, Alyssa says, good morning. Can I get a birthday shout out for Elena? She's turning the Big Ten. Hey, I love it. Double digits today. Happy birthday to you, Elena. Big birthday shouts going out. Celebrity wise, JJ Watt is 35 years old. Uh, love him. Is he of course. Still in the uh, he's not. He used to play, of course, with Houston. Did so much with the Hurricane Harvey back in the day. He raised, helped raise over $37 million. No. Yeah, so, I mean. Good guy. He was awesome, uh, awesome in Houston. And uh, he retired in Arizona, though. He played uh, a couple years there. Wow. So there you go. I slept on that one. Yeah. Uh, Constance Wu is 42. Crazy rich Asian. Yes, indeed. Love her. Also, I'm going to be a big birthday. Uh, Reese Witherspoon is 48 years old. Shut up. We got to love some Reese. <gasps> Reese movies. Do. I mean, there's so many different ones, you know? Mind you, her last one was what? The Ashton Kutcher one on Netflix? Yep. Your Place or Mine or something like that. I really liked this cute. And of course, old school, uh, legendary Legally Blonde movies. Yes. Come on. Nice. Elle nice. Uh, Guillermo Diaz is 49 from Scandal. Just saying. Oh. Happy, happy birthday. Bob Costa, 72 years old. Uh, having a big birthday today. And uh, the one, the only, oh, without a doubt. Oh, I know what you're going to say. William Shatner is having a birthday. What? Watch out. And what? the age of this man. Wow. I cannot. He is 93 years old today. What in the heck? And mind you, remember, just went into space, uh, what, a year ago? Yeah. Wow. Oh, my that, God. That's insane. Well, he went in space, what, uh, in his show back in the day? Well, of course, he was Captain Kirk. Yes. He was Captain Kirk, wow. and then he did it in real life, and that was super cool. So he's he was on the Today Show. He's been doing, I guess, 
for his birthday. Because uh, I don't think he has anything in the works. So I don't think he's got a movie or a show or anything. Right. Uh, but he was on the Today Show the other morning, and they were talking about his age. And then I saw a teaser where he's going to be on the Kelly Clarkson show today. Oh, I love that. So the guy's still all over the place doing, doing his stuff. thing. Yeah. And they're like, oh, my gosh. You don't even look or act your age or anything. He's like, nah, I'm good. He was at the Wagner Noel here, I believe, uh, five, six months ago with a movie thing. Was it really? A Star Trek movie. He came out and talked about some of the stuff. That's cool. I mean, he's doing his what thing. What a good guy. Happy birthday. All right, let's spend the morning get well. protect him at all costs. Yes. All right, let's go. Uh, the wheel is spinning on this Friday morning. It's spinning. Yes. It's spinning and it's landing on what? 90s or 2K. Hey, hey. Because it's a flashback Friday. Your chance at some Domino's pizza and some passes. How about this? To go check out the big show, Mr. Capone and Amanda Perez at the Ector Theater tomorrow. Watch out. Speaking of flashback Friday, what a cool uh, OG school that's going to be a uh, show, you know? Amazing yeah. show. So uh, you got tickets up for that as well. Call number nine at 563. Double 93. Hit us up. Good morning. It's 7th. Leo and Rebecca in the morning. B93. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. How, how are you? What's your name? My name's Zachary. Zachary, all right, Zachary, uh, feeling good on this Friday? Yeah, yeah? Yes, sir, always feeling good. Yeah! Awesome. All right, well, you know it's a flashback Friday on B93. Every Friday we go to our 90s and 2K. It's a party! Yeah, all day long. So, let's do 90s or 2K, and today's topic is cars. <gasps> oh! What? 90s or 2K, you tell us where you think the uh, car is from, Okay. Are you there, Zachary? Yes, I'm here. I got you. Excellent. All right, Zachary. All right, all right. Here he's we go. ready. He's ready. Here's your first car. The GMC Cyclone. The GMC Cyclone. Is that a 90s or a 2K car? That's 90s all day. Woo! He said 90s all day, Leo. What you want? He would be correct. Oh, Uh-oh. are you serious? Yeah. Hey, not me. All I'm going to Google all these vehicles. <laughs> Because that, I don't even remember that one. Wow. wow. That was a rare limited edition one. Look yeah, it him. was. And I was going to say they absolutely stopped making them at some yeah, point, right? Because I haven't seen one of these on the road in wow. a minute. All right, we continue. 90s or 2K, the Honda Accord. Come on, Leo, you got another 90s on me. Oh! oh he says another 90s. What is he, right, Leo? He's correct. Wow. Us and tell us you're so good with vehicles. You are good. What's wow. going on with this? All right. Well, not- I do. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. 90s or 2K, the Plymouth Prowler. Plymouth Prowler. Oh, that one's tricky. I think it was early 2000s. Early 2000s is correct. No! Oh! Yeah. Wow. What did you say? A Plymouth Prowler? Pl- How about they had cool Plymouth names for Prowler. cars? They sure did. They had the Cyclone. Oh, I remember. This one. Do you remember the problem? Yeah, the front tires were just floating fenders. Dang. Damn. Okay. That is crazy. I'm mad at you, Mr. Car Guy. <laughs> wow. Yes, wow. And finally, 90s or 2K, the Spark. Oh, uh, that's 2000. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm going to agree with him. We don't mess with those. (laughs) What is that? You don't mess with those. (laughs) Those are the the coolest looking little cars. They're almost like a smart car, but they're a little bit bigger than a smart car. What is the price of one of those? Oh, gosh, under $10,000. It's the battery you got to worry about. There you go. Oh, for real? Hey, why? We're getting schooled today. Tesla, Tesla batteries cost about half at least of a new Tesla. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. okay. Gotcha. Wow, look at you. You schooled us in so many ways. And how about these cool names for all these cars? I Yeah, the Cyclone and the Prowler. Can we bring back cool yeah, names? We don't have names like that no more. No, we, we need. Don't. When they come up with new cars today, please add some cool names yeah, for them. Yeah, I, I would want someone to ask, what you driving, Rebecca? I'm like a Cyclone. What's up? We, 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 when they yeah. name cars, they should name them like Avenger characters. You know what Thank I'm saying? You. Come on, now the Prowler. Yeah. Yeah. They'd be like, eh. They just stop remaking cars and using old names. Does that work? Cool. Yeah, this is yep. true. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, well, you did excellent. Yeah, you did. And you got yourself some Woo! Domino's pizza. Plus, speaking of some 90s and 2K, yeah. Mr. Capone and Amanda Perez at the Ector Theater tomorrow. You could go check out that old school show. Without a doubt, that's going to be really fun. And hey, you're in, and what station just put you there, man? B93. The 